All right, we want to take another look over in West Terre Haute. That's where News 10's Chloe Markley has been this afternoon. Right now we're catching a little bit of a lull in the precipitation, but it's not going to last much longer. But you still have to watch out if you're headed out this evening because we have standing water from the rain earlier. And now we're going to start to transition over to some wintry precipitation. So we'll take a look now at the Storm Team 10 Storm Tracker. Again, a good chunk of the Wabash Valley catching some dry time at the moment. But that's going to be short lived because as we look off to the west, all across our Illinois communities, storm tracker starting to pick up on some precipitation once again, indicating maybe it's still some wintry mix in these areas before eventually transitioning over to snow as temperatures are starting to cool off this afternoon. So we can zoom in closer and look at some of these communities a little bit zoomed in here around Christmas, seeing some snow and also around the Mattoon area down towards Neoga. Get towards Casey, storm tracker indicating maybe some ice pellets or some sleet down there in western Clark County. And then farther to the south, seeing some more snow indicated over over in the Effingham area into Jasper County, seeing that wintry mix also down into Clay County and maybe some light rain showers down here into Richland County. So the precipitation may be taking a little bit of a break right now, but it is going to return as we go into the evening hours because we can take a look at the regional view now. You can see all the snow out here across Missouri. It's still going to be making its way through. So we've got the next few hours that we'll see this back edge of the precipitation. Fortunately, when it comes to snow, we're not going to see a lot of it because most of the system came through earlier today, and that was all that heavy rain. We saw at least one to two inches in several spots more than that over the course of the day. So now as we wait for that wintry weather, we do have a winter weather advisory that's in effect for all of these counties you see shaded in purple. It's in effect until 9 o'clock central time for those of you in Illinois, and in effect until midnight for those of you in Indiana. Farther to the north, that's a winter storm warning up there into Champaign and Vermilion counties where they've had some heavier snow and also some blowing snow this afternoon. But we also still have some alerts with regards to the flooding. We have a flood watch in effect for most of the Wabash Valley in this darker green, but this lighter green in effect for all of our Indiana counties. That's a flood warning that's going to continue until tomorrow morning. So since we've had all that rain, there's a lot of standing water, creeks and streams are up and they're only going to continue to rise as we head into tomorrow morning. So you're going to watch out for that ponding water. And as temperatures start to cool, we're also going to have to be worrying about some black ice as some of that water starts to freeze on the roadways. Another issue we're dealing with tonight is the wind. It's coming out of the north, sustained right now at 20 miles per hour down in Olney, 22 for Effingham and Flora, 29 the sustained wind in Mattoon. So the wind's going to pick back up as we go into the overnight hours. We can see gusts as high as 40 miles per hour until we get to about midnight, and then the wind gusts will start to ease up just a little bit. So if any snow does start to blow around, it could create some reduced visibilities. But you see the temperatures also starting to fall behind that cold front, still holding on to 39 in Ligoti, but it's 33 in Terre Haute and 29 right now in Mattoon. So we take a look at future cast going through the rest of the evening. Again, that wintry mix initially, and then transitioning over to snow. But notice by the time we get to 8 o'clock, the system's already starting to fall apart a little bit. By 9, a lot of the snow's already wrapping up. By the time we get to 10, 10 o'clock to midnight, most of the precipitation's out of here. We'll see the sky start to clear behind that, so that's going to allow temperatures to really drop off as we go into the overnight hours, but also give us plenty of sunshine as we head into the day for Friday. So when the snow is all said and done, not expecting a lot out of it. Again, most of this precipitation has fallen as rain. Less than an inch for most of us, but you get north of Interstate 70 up into Coles and Edgar and parts of Vermilion County, maybe one to three inches with most of those totals on the lower end of that range. So your forecast for tonight down to 11 with that wintry mix and snow ending, and then it's going to be getting even colder as we head into tomorrow. And we are going to be seeing those temperatures continue to cool off, but we do have some warmer weather in store as we get towards the weekend.